Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adrian from Game Reviews Malaysia. Welcome back to the channel. This is the first installment of Wishful Wednesdays, a new discussion series I'm putting out every alternate week in 2017, where I ponder the what-ifs of the MMO world by discussing features ranging from gameplay to mechanics to business models to technology, basically things that could have happened or should but never did for some reason or another in the MMOs that we play. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join in the discussion in the comment section below. Alrighty, with introductions out of the way, let's get this party started. I'm beginning the series by discussing an MMORPG that's very close to my heart, and the topic is what if Mega Server technology existed in the Lord of the Rings Online? Ooh, I hear you say. Ah, I hear them say. Now, before you start giving one-word answers, let's explore the possibility a little bit. Raise your hand if this has happened to you. How many of you were on a server that shut down? How many of you spent a lot of money on transfer tokens hopping from server to server? How many of you left a kinship behind? Or split ways with friends, alliances, raiding buddies, PvP buddies, and lifelong enemies? What if we never had to go through that in the first place? And the answer to that question is precisely why we're discussing the mega server today. What is a mega server? For MMO newcomers who haven't heard of the term before, simply put, a mega server gives an MMO the ability to use a single global server for the game, either made up of several servers working together or not. This means that a mega server will seamlessly merge all of the game's players into one huge server, and it can produce multiple copies of a zone made up of different layers, dimensions, maps, or whatever you want to call it, which can comfortably hold the population of players in that area during any given time. In short, a mega server means everyone can play with everyone without the need to move or transfer servers. Mega servers also usually come in twos to service the game's two regions in North America or in Europe. It's also important to note that there are several variations of the mega server out there, each tailored to suit the MMO in question. In Guild Wars 2, for example, their system will take your group, your guild, language, and homeworld into consideration before putting you on a suitable layer. While over in the secret world, their mega server intentionally splits up the population into smaller dimensions to give the illusion that players are alone and in small numbers as it suits the premise and theme of the game. But all players are indeed on the same mega server and can communicate and group up to take on dungeons regardless of server and dimension. So we now know that there are many versions of the mega server out there, each catering to the specific requirements of the MMO it's attached to. In Lotro's case, and for the purpose of this discussion, let's assume we're talking about a mega server in its most basic function, to abolish the need for individual servers and group all players into one huge mega server. Which leads us to the all-important question, will it work? I've given this a lot of thought and I strongly believe a mega server for Lotro would do the game more good than harm. For starters, a mega server would finally solve the low server population problem that have plagued the game in the past which has drove many players away to other games even before the recent server mergers happened. We've lost kinships, friends, and communities that we'll never get back again but a mega server could prevent that from ever happening again. The biggest benefit of having a mega server is the illusion that a 10 year old game like Lotro is well and truly alive, hustling and bustling with players at all time zones and that will encourage new players to stay and stop the game from bleeding players. No longer will we have to answer questions like, which is the most populated server and I hope it will never be asked again. Mega servers will also solve the problem of having dead zones in the game. There have been countless times when I've leveled a new character through the early zones like the Lone Lands, the North Downs, the Troll Shaws, and even Dim, and noticed that I was sadly alone, or with a small amount of players. Having everyone on one server would simply mean more players leveling in previously deserted zones, making the leveling experience better for everyone in the area. On top of that, I also think that landscape and open world content will benefit hugely from this. Just think of how it will boost player participation in activities like mounted combat and roving threats and group questing in zones like Tarlang's Crown. New developer Standing Stone games could leverage this as it gives them a reason to create content specifically designed with mega server technology in mind. That would be really awesome to see. 
The other benefit that Lotro has with the Mega Server compared to other MMOs is that there aren't too many complications considering it's primarily a PvE focused game. Unlike Guild Wars 2, there's no server or homeworld pride at stake for PvP or World v World, so a Mega Server would make more sense especially to group players up for PvE. Even for PvMP, Combining the populations of all servers might sound incredibly crazy due to us knowing about the current performance issues that exist, but it would totally make the Moors a hell of a lot more active 24 hours a day. And depending on your playstyle, this might sound like a bad idea, but personally I prefer a populated PvMP map compared to a dead one. Are there downsides? Unfortunately, there are several repercussions that will affect Lotro should a mega server technology be introduced. The first and most obvious one would be the impact on player communities. As we know, Lotro has designated servers for encouraging roleplay, like on Landreville for North America and Laurelin and Belagea for the EU. Lotro also has language-specific servers for French and German-speaking players. The arrival of a mega server would disrupt these communities by jumbling the entire player base together, leaving it up to the player community themselves to sort through the multiple chat channels to reorganize kinships, alliances, and events. However, if the players, especially those who run community events, can embrace this change, it could bring new life to these events, like a lot more players at the annual weather stock, for example, but only if Lotro gets a technical facelift, and more on that later. The second potential downside is that the developers would lose a source of revenue in the form of server transfers. Currently, players need to pay to purchase transfer tokens that will enable you to move from server to server. And if you have 12 characters, you would need 12 transfer tokens to move all of them. That is quite a chunk of money and it's safe to say that the previous developer's turbine has made a lot of money because of everything that has happened in the past. And let's face it, with traditional MMOs that have numerous servers, server transfers happen a lot. It's normal. Taking that away could mean less money for content development in the future, but that's pure speculation at this point considering we don't actually have factual data on how much they make of transfers. The bright side is, the mega server among many other improvements could breathe new life into the game, attracting new blood and that means more money. The final downside is of course, the performance issues that will most definitely come with the mega server. After all, it's Lotro we're talking about. Even without it, players today still suffer from lag and other issues and one can only imagine the chaos and destruction that would take place during events and landscape bosses, which is why I say that in order for a mega server to happen, Lotro needs a huge technical upgrade first. So could it happen? The short answer is no. The long answer is possibly, but not until Lotro upgrades or revamps the technology that they built and coded the game with. Now I'm not pretending to be a technical expert here, but it's sort of obvious to see that the technology surrounding Lotro is ancient, and we're talking about the game's engine and various other back-end systems. Therefore, to accommodate a mega server, Lotro needs a huge facelift and must fix a multitude of other issues first before he can take on this upgrade. But should Standing Stone Games be able to pull this off in the future, then I can safely say that Lotro will only benefit in the long run, keeping the game competitive and on par with current MMO titles out there. Fingers crossed, the devs are listening. And that wraps up this week's Wishful Wednesday discussion. Listen, 2017 is all about exploring new MMO content here at the channel, so if you enjoyed this and would like me to continue the series exploring different topics for all the MMOs out there, you have to let me know. If you'd like to contribute a discussion topic for the next installment or want to add to the discussion or even give me feedback on this new series, leave all your thoughts in the comments section below and I will love you forever and give you free cookies. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on the Mega Server for Lotro. Do you think it would work? Which older MMO would you also like to see get a Mega Server? Post them in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel for more MMO content and game reviews. Once again, my name is Adrian from Game Reviews Malaysia and I thank you for watching.